Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Red Flamethrower here and welcome back to another a pretty crazy video and today we are back and better than ever and today we're gonna be doing another top five video so in my previous video we did top five fun zombie challenges and that video got six likes so i think that's a really good video to make a remake of instead this is gonna be a part two because just like call of duty zombies has so much variety and you could just do so many challenges there's like 50 plus challenges i can name right now on the spot but, you know, like, I don't have time to do that. So, guys, we're going to be doing five more fun challenges to do with friends. So, guys, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like, and let's get started, bros. Okay, guys, coming in our top five spot, we got the sensitivity challenge. Now, this challenge has two ways of doing it specifically. I'm going to be explaining the first way. So, the first way of doing this is the high way. So, uh, basically, all you want to do is turn your sensitivity all the way up. Um, so horizontal and vertical has to be all the way up to its peak, meaning it has to be at 14. I'm not too sure if that's the highest, but that's what you want to do and keep it like that for the entire game. And this is going to make it really hard because at the start, it's going to be hard for you to get used to it. But when you go throughout your game, it's going to actually get easier for you because I noticed that when I played with it, it was actually really easy afterwards and you're just going to get like used to it. So it's, that's going to be pretty easy. For the second method, it is basically um, the opposite of what you did. So what you want to do is turn your sensitivity all the way to the lowest. And I think this is harder in my opinion because you can't get used to this. It's just going to be really hard because you're going to try to do missions. You're going to try to do a bunch of different things. And it's going to be hard because you can't move properly and you are just going to be struggling the entire game. So guys, that's going to be coming in our top five spot. And let's get into our top four spot. Okay guys, coming in our top 4 spot, we got the no power challenge. Now this challenge is a classic, coming back all the way from the Reese. Now this challenge, I would say it is pretty difficult because the power in the game is what controls most of the map. For example, you got perks. Without perks, you're probably going to die because they give you special abilities. For example, Juggernaut gives you more health, which helps you not die right away when you get swiped by zombies. You got Speed Cola, which helps you reload faster. Quick Revive, which helps you quickly revive your teammates. And you got Double Tap, which helps your fire rate and kill zombies faster. Two, you got Pack Punch, which allows you to upgrade your weapon and kill zombies more easily. But without that, you're probably going to die because in the higher rounds, your weapon is just going to get weaker and weaker. And you won't be able to kill the zombies and they'll probably just get to you. Three, map accessibility. I can name a list of maps that literally you cannot be able to access properly. You got Call of the Dead, you got Darius, you got Garage Crovy, you got Derizadrak, you got Zetsubo, and I could just keep on going on and on. And without power, you just won't be able to access half of the map or most of the map if you do not turn on the power. And it's gonna be a huge struggle just to get around the map and do what you gotta do. Four, and this is gonna be the last one, Easter eggs. You could not do Easter eggs. I repeat, you could not do any major Easter eggs because first of all, you could not get perks, which will be able to help you. You will not be able to pack a bunch of weapons to fight the hordes of zombies, and you will not be able to access some parts in the map. And that is very important to reach the part of the Easter egg you want to get to. So Garage Crovy requires you to get to that one spot where you have to get to the gate and you have to turn on the power to literally do all your steps, the Rise of Drac as well, and Zetsubo as well. And that's just to put into perspective of what you can do without the power. So that's gonna be coming in our top four spot, guys. Let's get into our top three spot. Okay, guys, coming in our top three spot today, we got the knife only challenge. Now this challenge is pretty straightforward as well. It literally requires you to knife the entire game and knife only. So the only options you have in knifing are your regular knife, the Bowie knife, the Galvan knuckles, any type of specialist, the shield, and those other weapons that you get in Black Ops 3 where if you were to complete a certain trial in a certain amount of time, you do get the weapon. So those are your only options. And if you really think about it, that's very limited because you cannot use all your weapons properly to its fullest potential. So for example, knifing, that's only gonna get you very far. I would say round four would be the highest for knifing like properly. And then you would have to move on to the Bowie knife, which lasts until round two. 10 and once your bowie knife runs out you have two hits until round 20 and i don't know what happens after that the galvan knuckles goes up to round 20 and everything else i'm pretty sure the sword in shadows of evil could get you really far i think that counts as a melee weapon 
but either way it is really hard you probably won't make it past 12 to be honest that is probably going to be your deadline if you were to get above that you are probably the most luckiest and the most godly player in zombies and that's going to be coming in our top three spot guys let's get into our top two spot Okay guys, coming in our top 2 spot today, we got the pack a bunch challenge. Now this challenge is actually really simple, but very time consuming, because it requires you to pack a bunch all the weapons inside the map, and depending on what map you're playing on, you could have to pack punch either 28, maybe 32, or 35. There's a lot of weapons you have to pack a punch depending on which map you're on. So that's the only one part that's really troubling in the map. And plus, you also have to get the gun out of the box, then you have to survive, get more weapons, and then repack a punch the weapon, and you have to keep on doing that. And it's going to be harder depending on which map you're playing and how many guns there are. And I will say this this is really easy. So maybe to spice things up a little bit, you could double pack a bunch it to fully make sure it's pack a punch and then move on to the next weapon. So yeah, guys, this is a pretty simple challenge and there's not really a lot to talk about it. So guys, let's just get into our number one spot, guys. And coming in and our number one spot, we got the no purchase challenge. Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. You're going to be like, wait, how are you even going to survive if you can't get out? let alone even get weapons inside the first room. Now hear me out. So basically how the challenge works is you could only open doors, nothing else. You can only buy doors to access other places. And when you open doors, you have to use the things in the map and rely on them and get them for free. For example, Mob that is a great example to use. You got the purgatory, which you get for free. You got your pistol. And then you have to use your doors to your advantage to get to other stuff. Like you have to get the Hell's Retriever by feeding the dogs. And you use the Hell's Retriever to get the Blunder Gat by getting the skulls. Once you get your Blunder Gat, you can get the Acid Gat. And you could just open up a bunch of doors and try to find a perfect spot to train. And then just try to get to a high round. Another great example would have to be Origins. So Black Ops 2, I think would be the perfect example to do this challenge on. So you want to get weapons from the box. You could get that fist um, specialist, you could get staffs, you could get weapons from the ground by digging them up. It is just a perfect map, so I would have to say Mob of Dead and Origins are two perfect maps and perfect examples to do this challenge on. So guys, that is going to be our number one spot, and I do have one more honorable mention just to list off real quick before we end the video. Okay, for our honorable mentions today, guys, we got the one window challenge now this challenge is actually the most simple challenge all you want to do is get a weapon get your perks pack a bunch of weapon and just look at one window the entire time the only one exception is this only works on pc because this is a mod after all you would have to download the mod from a workshop on steam and use that to download the map so that's the only exception but if you do have pc this is a great and fun challenge just to play just to pass time and kill zombies Okay guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I did hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Pa -pa -pa -pa. Peace.